Summer heat is arriving this weekend. Meteorologist Corey Smith explains a new forecast you will be seeing this summer right here on ABC 24. We're entering the hottest stretch of weather we've seen so far in 2024. And you're gonna see a lot of graphics like this showing temperatures and heat index over the coming days. Of course, because we're gonna get close to a feels like temperature around 100 towards the end of the weekend. But a new product from the National Weather Service known as Heat Risk is gonna be a great tool for us to use as we head into the summer months. You can see it right here beside me, this map showing all these colors and words. We're gonna talk about what it means and how it will be useful in talking about our hottest days in the summer. So what is heat risk? Well, there's a couple things that play into it. And the first is how hot it actually is take those temperatures and we compare them to the average for this time of the year. We also look at how long this heat is occurring, especially during the nighttime. If those temperatures overnight are warmer, that heat risk could definitely be higher. And this is the biggest thing by far. It actually takes into account health history from the CDC, specifically here for the Mid-South. So how does that heat really play with the health factors that we see here in the Mid-South? So if you take all those things together, we can create a scale going from zero to four, where zero is little to no risk down to four, which is an extreme heat risk, which implies long duration extreme heat. Once we get around a level two, that's where we could start to be concerned about populations like the elderly that might not have a way to cool off. A three to four, though, would be where we would expect widespread impacts for pretty much everyone here in the Mid-South, especially those that don't have a way to cool down. So let's take a look at the next couple of days and talk about that heat risk. Notice 95 as you go tomorrow and into Saturday, the same temperatures, but because that humidity is starting to go up and we're further along into that heat, Saturday looks to be a level three. So we're gonna talk more about this heat risk as you go throughout the summer months, use it as a forecasting tool for you guys, uh, but just wanted to explain things here as you get into our first heat of 2024. From the studio, I'm ABC 24, meteorologist Corey Smith. Danielle, this makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we've seen health as a factor in forecasting? Yes, it is. And I think that the National Weather Service is really doing a great job of making sure that that is one of the things we think about, right? Because even here in Memphis, it's completely different if we take a look a few counties down to the south of us, like in Tunica, mm -hmm. uh, in Panola County as well, in Mississippi. That's more farmland, more trees. Here we're dealing with a city climate. So it could definitely vary depending on where you live and where the heat dome is, is lying. And we know we've got a lot of health circumstances here in the Mid-South. Yes, it is. Very important to know. Yes.